this project, all you need is a trucker hat. And the one I linked to is the one that I used, I created this pattern with. So you want to get the um, exact one. There are a few different colors. And then some knit fabric. You, we only need a little scrap of this, so you don't need a ton. And then print off the pattern piece, and I will show you how to use it. Um, this is a fun project if you want to do custom hats for a bridal party or maybe like a quilt weekend. Um, so we're going to fold our fabric in half, and then we'll cut out the pattern piece on the fold. We only need one layer, so it's a really simple, quick project. Um, so the fold line is right here on the pattern piece. So we'll line that part up on a fold, and you can kind of play with placement to get um, the hat how you want it, if you want more flowers or whatnot. So after you have cut out the pattern piece, this is what it will look like. And you can see how we cut on the fold right here. This part is not on a fold, and this will create a seam with the other side to create a, um, that angle, the dart at the top. So that'll be the first step, is we're going to fold this in half along that top dart. And then we'll pin it. And you can use a 1 quarter inch seam allowance um, for this if you want to use a little bit a little bit bigger of, of a one quarter inch um, then we can kind of stretch the fabric as we sew it to the hat and get more of a smooth look so we'll pin here and then we're gonna sew from the end across one quarter inch seam allowance and then we'll um, back stitch at the ends Okay, so I sewn across the dart. Um, normally when you're using a knit fabric, you would use a different stitch. Uh, but since this part of the hat, once it's on the hat, it's not going to stretch. So a straight st stitch is fine. It's not going to break. Um, and that seam gives us the angle we need to put the hat on, put the fabric on the hat like this. And so the next step is we are going to um, fold around all the all the edges one quarter inch and and press it um, but a trick I like to do is to go ahead and sew a straight stitch along all those edges and that'll help us give us a guide for pressing it over so I've done stitching along all the edges and now I'm going to use that stitching to help me press the edges over so we have a nice clean finish um, so we're just going to use an iron and press the edge over about a quarter inch. If it's a little bit more than a quarter inch, that's okay. And then we'll do the very top as well. Okay, and then to reduce bulk along this seam allowance, I'm just going to trim the dart a little and then trim the seam allowance too. Just to make it a little less bulky. Okay, so now that I've pressed it, I'm going to put it on my hat and kind of adjust adjust it a little. I'm going to have to pull some of that seam or some of the basting that I sewed on the edges to get it right. So it should fit pretty well on your hat um, but we can stretch it as we sew too if it doesn't fit quite perfectly. So you're going to need a hand sewing needle for this and some pins.
I'm just going to put a couple pins in here to make sure it stays aligned correctly. And as we sew it on, we can kind of make any adjustments we need to. But just so like the middles are where they should be and the sides are kind of where they should be. So you can use a woven fabric for this, but it will be a little trickier because of the dimension of the hat. A knit fabric stretches over pretty well, and so you can kind of fix any um, bumpiness. So if you're doing a woven, you just won't have as much flexibility, but you can still, still do that if you want. All right, so I've pinned it enough and I'm gonna start sewing it on over here and we'll go around the hat. So you just need a hand sewing needle for this and some thread. Um, if you want to use fabric glue, you can do that as well, um, but you'll need a lot more pins to hold it while the fabric glue dries. So I like to do a double thread when I am doing hand sewing. So we'll just start at the top and I'm going to use a slip stitch or an invisible stitch. I think it's also called a ladder stitch. Um, so if you use a color, either white or white thread or a color that matches your fabric, you're not really gonna see this thread too much, but I will show you how to do this. Seems you can't really see it. Okay, so I'm going to go into the white part of the hat and then when my needle comes out, I'm just gonna snag a little teeny bit of the, the knit fabric, just kind of on the fold there. And that way most of my thread is hidden in the hat and the fabric. You can't really see this, the stitching. So I'm gonna, I'll do it a couple times so you can see. So you see the, the needle comes out, I'm gonna put it through the fabric, just snag the edge of it there, and then pull it, and then I'm going right into the hat, right where my stitch came out. That way the, the only stitching that's visible is that teeny little piece. So just continue doing this all the way around your hat and um, you know if you need to adjust your your pins as you go um, or restretch the fabric just to make it flatter do that so this is a really fun hand sewing project to do in front of a movie or something like that it'll just take about 20 minutes probably to finish this maybe less so that is how you attach it with a hand sewing needle and um, you can also see the tutorial in the post for a photographed um, tutorial of, of all these steps. <laughs>